Welcome to a view to a grill. I'm Johnny and today I'm going to show you how to smoke leg quarters using a slow and sear. In case you don't know, the slow and sear is my absolute favorite Weber kettle accessory. So when smoking leg quarters, I actually start a little different. I start with the seasoning process. First thing we're going to do is pat our chicken leg quarters dry. Next, I like to use a little spray on oil just as a binder. After that, season your leg quarters. Today, I'm just using my own SPG plus onion powder blend. Now get those leg quarters turned over and just hit them again with a little bit of that spray oil. Now grabbing the leg quarters by the end where the foot used to be attached, use that as your handle because it just kind of makes it easier getting the leg quarter turned around in every direction so you can season this properly and evenly. After that, we'll just get these put in the refrigerator uncovered. This is going to give your seasoning some time to set up and the skin dried out. After about two to four hours, it's time to set up the Weber kettle. Today, I'll be using Kingsford Blue, the original. I also have four rounds of oak. We'll get the slow and sear filled up with our Kingsford Blue. Now, I'll just remove the charcoal from the top corner and we'll put that into our charcoal chimney starter. Now make sure you have that charcoal pushed over to one side of your chimney starter. It just makes it easier for all the charcoal to get lit. And then light up your fire starters. And when you place the chimney on top of those, make sure your charcoal is directly over the flame. Now today I am starting off with a little more charcoal in the chimney starter because our target temperature is going to be about 280 degrees. The temperature probe that we're using today is is going to be the Inkbird IBT 4XS. While the chimney starter is getting started, this is a great time to clean your grills. And I find that the CitraSafe grill cleaning kit really works well with my grilling workflow because I can clean the grates while the grates are cold. Now that the charcoal is lit, we're gonna get it into the slow and sear. We'll get our grate on and the chicken down. Now you don't want your chicken to be directly over the fire, so make sure that it's not over your slow and sear. If it is, you're gonna to have to move your chicken. Now notice that I pick my chicken up to move it and I'm not dragging it because if you drag it, you're going to knock the seasoning off of the bottom of your chicken. And when you're smoking chicken, you're gonna want the skin side up. We'll place the ambient probe thermometer right in between the chicken. Now we'll get our temperature probe in and we wanna make sure that we're in the middle of the chicken thigh, but not touching the bone. Put the lid on and now it's just a matter of maintaining your target temperature. I am not a huge fan of sauce on my smoked leg quarters, but today, I feel like having some sauce. So we have reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees and the chicken is technically done. So at this point, I think it's a good time to apply that first layer of sauce. Now when saucing the chicken, I just kind of like to dab it on. I'm not painting it on, I'm dabbing it on, not, not dabbing. Today I'm gonna sauce one and leave the other one dry. Now I'm also going to raise the temperature just to get the chicken done a little quicker. At this point in the cook, the chicken has already absorbed all of the smoke flavor it's going to get. So I'm gonna have the top vent wide open and I'm going to move the bottom vent in between the second and third oval. Once that first layer of barbecue sauce has gotten a little tacky, it'll be time to apply your second layer of barbecue sauce. We'll get that sauced up. Everything is still looking fantastic. We have enough fuel in the slow and sear. We'll just put the lid back on. And now we're just waiting for the internal temperature to get to 175 degrees in the thigh because that gets rid of some of the redness you see around the bones, which kind of makes us all worry about eating chicken. The dark meat of chicken is very forgiving if you happen to overcook it. The dark meat of the chicken will still be juicy and still be delicious. Now that we've hit our internal temperature of 175 degrees, it's time to take the chicken off. Our sauced chicken is tacky and the dry chicken looks fantastic. Now for this cook, I am not trying to get the chicken skin crispy. 
This is a lower temperature smoked chicken. If you wanna see how I get crispy chicken skin, check out the link above. Now let's check out the results. As you can see, fantastic. Thank you for watching a view to a grill. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing. Take care y'all, I'll see you next time.